Okay, in this video, we will discuss uh, offline password attacks. In offline password attacks, the attacker tries to get hold of the hash password, and from there, they try to reverse engineer to uh, get back the original password. Okay, we're going to illustrate this uh, by using uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, so um, let's get started. So I have with me here the router. Right, let's look at the CLI here in the router. And I'm going to give it some initial configuration, right? I'm going to give it a line console password, right? Uh, let's give it a password of Cisco and do a login. Okay, so when I do this, um, the next time when I log into the, um, oops, bad. Okay, when, when I look it, when, when the next time that I try to log into the console, uh, it will actually prompt me for a password. I need to enter the password before I can get into um, the, cons uh, the console. Okay, but uh, the password that I have entered, okay, is actually um, stored inside the configuration file as a clear text. So you can see, line console 0, password Cisco login. So when I pass this, um, uh, is, if the attacker is able to get hold of this configuration file, he will be able to know the password itself. Okay, and if uh, I'm configuring um, the device and I issue the show running config, anybody who walk past is able to chance uh, is able to chance upon the password, which is Cisco. So typically, what we do on um, uh, Cisco devices is that we will enable uh, password encryption, right? Service password encryption. Okay, so what this does is basically it will uh, hash the password into a Type Seven password. Right, so include password. Right, so instead of showing up as password Cisco, it shows up as password seven uh, and followed by this hash. Right, so it's a hash form. But the idea is that this is uh, good at preventing people from knowing the clear text password if they walk past you. But this is actually a very weak form of uh, protection because if um, you, the attacker is able to get hold of this string, it is trivial for the attacker. Um, to uh, get the clear text uh, form of the password. I'm going to show you now. Right, I'm going to copy this um, hash. Right, I'm going to open a web browser. Okay, so uh, I have a web browser here. And uh, basically all you need to do is to type in Cisco uh, type. Ah, see, before you can finish typing, the suggestion comes out already. Okay, it says Cisco type 7 password decrypt. So uh, we ju we'll just choose one of them. Uh, let's try the first one, right? And let's see how the website looks like. So it says decrypt Cisco Type 7 password. So I'm going to paste the hash uh, password that I had uh, copied just now. And I'm going to click Submit. See, almost immediately I get the clear text password uh, reverse and return back to me. Okay, so you need to understand that the Cisco Type 7 password is very weak. Its purpose is basically uh, to prevent um, users from uh, shoulder surfing. Uh, so if somebody is near you, they cannot see the actual form of the password when you are editing the configuration file. But uh, it is not meant for any uh, serious kind of a protection. Now, uh, on uh, Cisco devices, we sometimes uh, use the uh, enable secret. Uh, we use the secret form, the, the type 5 passwords instead of the type 7 passwords. Right? So let's take a look at those now. So I'm back on my um, device, so um, let's see what happens when I try to use the type 5 password. No? So for example, if I were to give it a, a password, no? enable password, and I specify it as an enable secret, let's say enable secret class, what it is going to um, show up as is a type 5 password. Right? Do show run, include uh, secret. So you can see it is no longer type 7, it's a type 5. These are Cisco type 5 passwords. Okay. Um, so it is a bit stronger than the type 7 password. But again, you should not let this uh, uh, hash form of the password fall into the wrong hands. Okay. If the attacker is able uh, to get hold of this hash password, again, they will be able to uh, reverse the process and try to crack this password. Okay. Uh, we are going to investigate this uh, by uh, using the tool uh, John the Ripper. 